Well, face coverings come in all shapes and sizes, but not all masks are created equal. Well, CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen shows you the latest research on which face coverings provide the best protection. Santa Monica is one of the cities where you can be fined for not wearing a face covering outside. At this construction site, gators are the most popular. Shopper Johnny Frost likes them as well. The masks, they're, uh, they're not as, uh, they're with the ears, it pulls your ears up. This is just kind of, this is kind of just nice. He says gators are comfortable, but a study from Duke University says you should stay away from them. It's a combination, certainly, of stretchiness of the material and the material potentially being very thin. Researchers tested 14 types of masks in a lab to see what happened when a person spoke through a box to release droplets. Stay healthy, people. Stay healthy, people. With the use of a laser, they were able to count the droplets. They found N95 masks are the best, but those should be reserved for frontline health workers. The standard surgical masks, which are accessible, also work well. However, bandanas are not effective, and gators, researchers say, may do more harm than good. I don't think I knew that, so I guess I'll have to double up now. This is kind of just a little bit more for comfort, and it seems to make people happy that I, you know, wear one of these. If you're planning to travel, a number of airlines now say vented masks like this one are no longer adequate. Here at the airport, they would prefer for you to use a face covering that's made of cloth. The reason the vents here do not prevent particles from escaping when you exhale. And here's something else worth mentioning. These vented masks tend to be more expensive than the cloth version. At LAX, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.